Willis Reed was born June 25, 1942, in Hico, Louisiana. Raised in the segregated South, he was the only child born to Inel and Willis Sr., his father. He attended Westside High School in Lilly, where he was a standout student. He attended Grambling State University in 1960, where he led the team to the NIEA Championship in 1961. In 1962, he averaged 17.6 points per game, along with 14.6 rebounds. The next season, 1963, he averaged 21.2 points per game and 17.1 rebounds. The team was third place in the tournament that year. His final season, 1964, he averaged 26.6 points along with 21.3 rebounds, which was second in the nation. He also won the gold medal with the U.S. basketball team in the Pan American Games finishing his college career with a total of 2,280 points and 1,851 rebounds. He was a two-times NAIA All-American in 1963 and 1964 and a three-time NAIA All-Tournament team selection. He was drafted by the New York Knicks in 1964, NBA draft in the second round with the eighth pick. His rookie year, he became known as a fierce, dominating, physical force in the league he scored 19.5 points a game, which was 7th in the league, and 14.7 rebounds, 5th in the league. He was also the NBA's Rookie of the Year in 1965, and selected to the NBA All-Rookie First Team. In March 1965, he scored a New York Knicks rookie record, 46 points versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Over the next two seasons, he averaged 20.9 points and 11.6 rebounds and 14.6 miles respectively, which was top 10 in the NBA amongst rebounders. In the 1968-69 season, the team only allowed a league-best 105.2 points per game, becoming known one of the best defensive teams. Reed averaged 21.1 along with 14.5 rebounds and a record 191 rebounds that season. The next year, 1970, the team won 60 games, including going on an 18-game game-winning streak. They beat the Earl Monroe-led Baltimore Bullets in the first round of the playoffs, and a Milwaukee Bucks team featuring a young Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and experienced Oscar Robertson in the second round, moving on to play the Los Angeles Lakers in the finals. The New York Knicks took a 3-2 lead in the series. However, Reed got injured in Game 6, and the team lost. Surprisingly, on May 8, 1970, he limped onto the court for Game 7 of the series, scoring the first two field goals and playing 27 minutes. The team went on to win the game with their first NBA championship for the city that year. He became the first player in history to win regular season MVP and the All-Star Game MVP in the same year. In the 1970-71 season, Reed averaged 20.9 points per game and 13.7 rebounds. He tied a rebound record, 33 held by Harry Gallington, versus the Cincinnati Royals. The team had a 52-30 record, but was eliminated by the Baltimore Bullets in the first round of the playoffs. In the 71-72 season, having problems with his previous knee injury, he only played in 11 games. However, with help from teammates Walt Frazier, the team still made it to the finals that year against the Los Angeles Lakers, losing four games to one. In the 1972-73 year, the team went 57 and 25. Reed averaged 11 points in the regular season. Playing in 69 games will help from newly acquired Earl the Pearl Monroe. They defeated the Baltimore Bullets in the first round of the playoffs, while upsetting the Boston Celtics in the second round to make it to the NBA Finals once again versus the Los Angeles Lakers. They won four games to one with Reed averaging 12.5 points and 7.6 rebounds during the whole playoffs. The next year, 73-74, his last season, he averaged only 3.4 points and two rebounds to end his 10-year career. With career totals of 12,183 points, 8,414 rebounds, and 1,186 assists, he was a seven-time All-Star, the NBA All-Star MVP in 1970, two-time NBA champion, and two-times NBA Finals MVP. He was the Rookie of the Year in 1965. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1982. His number is retired by the New York Knicks. He is one of the NBA's top 50 and 75 players of all time. Leading his team to victory, he was the captain.